know what the hell are you doing? I never learned how to surf. Ah! Was that Felipe Melo riding Kovacic like a surfboard? Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Kovacic is in trouble! Mandzukic, you know what to do! Sorry ladies, I've gotta help a friend. You wanna buy packs but you got no coins And you wanna pack bail but you hate FIFA points And you wanna beat your brother with a super fly team But your coin total zero so it's basically the dream You FIFA is the answer to your question Cheap and reliable the best on the net here CWE for 8% off Stack them coins and load your squad up What kind of for something boys and welcome to the real Kovacic episode In this episode we're going to be taking a look at one of the young promising Croatian talents Mateo Kovacic He's been described by Trapattoni, an ex-Italian manager As a blend of Gaka and Clarence Seedorf Now I don't follow Inter that much let alone the Serie A But from the research that I've done I've seen that he shows flashes of brilliance But by and large he's not really a letdown He's just been average with flashes of brilliance Then again he's only 21 so he's a lot of development to do And then some people are going to wonder you know is Real Madrid the best place for him to go to develop since he's going to be competing with an already filled midfield? He's not going to get a whole lot of playing time playing behind Klus, Modric, Hamez, and freaking um, and Modric. That is a pretty, pretty deep midfield to go against, but each of those players had some issues last year. Modric, for example, was injured. Klus fizzled out towards the end. Hamez is young, but even he missed nine games. So there is space for Kovacic to make an impact. Real bought him for 30 million, and it wasn't as though Inter wanted to let him go. It was due to financial fair play regulations that they had to and uh, unfortunately he got away from Inter they did not want to get rid of him but it was a pretty solid move by Real Madrid a lot of money for a player that's not exactly proven but someone they can definitely utilize in terms of FIFA he's a freaking sick card at the beginning of FIFA 15 he was one of my favorite players to use four star weak foot four star skill moves absolute freaking monster let's go take a look at his stats now keep in mind this is a 77 overall non-rare gold he's got 88 ball control 76 long shots which is really good it's only 71 shot power 87 uh, short passing he's known as a creative uh, uh, player making midfielder so that's really good short passing rating for a 77 overall card 86 agility a, uh, sorry 86 acceleration 85 agility those are pretty solid stats for the ab rating and he doesn't have much in the way of balance I think he has actually 58 but anyway boys we have thrown him in a Croatian La Liga squad builder we've got him surrounded by Rakitic his new teammate Modric we've got Halihovic in there the young Modric a lot of people are comparing him to the young Modric still has a way to go looks like he's like freaking 11 years old in his picture if you guys do enjoy the episode don't forget to hit the like button if we could blast 70 likes that would be freaking sweet as well if you want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter those links can be found in the description below let me know what you think about Kovacic to Real if you're a Croatian fan or if you're a Serie A fan are you sad that he went if you're a Real fan do you think there's a place for him at Real Madrid let me know in the comment section below let me know if there's another transfer player you guys would like me to see uh, would like me to do an episode on but let's get into a freaking match let's tear shit up hopefully I keep sell. I keep sell for Brown. Pretty solid looking squad, 41212. And if you guys missed it, you can find you can actually find this shirt online. It costs three hundred dollars, but I mean Tell me that this isn't worth it. You got a stain right here. You got the Croatian flag right here. And you've got a freaking DJ Sebi on a boat banging out chicks on a Croatian yacht party. Yeet! Oh, by the way, here's a little fun fact about Kovacic. He is a Croatian national, but he was actually born in Austria. Dude! Yo! Alvis, first off, what are you doing up that high? Dude, stop interfering with the freaking plays! One promising thing so far is that I haven't conceded a goal, which lately, if you guys have been watching the videos, I concede, like, in the first minute, like, every time. Shit. And just as I say that, just as I say that, okay. <laughs> Yo, PK, I don't know if it's my controller, but yesterday, who did the exact same thing? Koscielny was run around just like that. I, is my controller fucked? Alright, that was probably one of the most uneventful- That was probably one of the most uneventful first halves in the world. That was probably one of the most uneventful first halves I've ever had. 61 possession- That was probably one of the most uneventful first halves I've ever had. 61% possession, 10 shots, 1 on target. What is that? Oh my god, the young Ali Hobich! What the hell? Of all the guys to step up, what a freaking rip! And he's, his back is dented in. Modric, the, the fucking young Modric being hugged by the actual Modric. My god, is that the most emotional thing you've ever seen? Holy shit. Get the fuck in. 
that he's worth the comparisons. <gasps> nice. Oh, shit. Dude, Felipe Melo just laid out Kovacic. Wow, dude, this ref is not calling anything. DK! Oh, damn! He kept it in! Kobe! Kobe! Oh, my God! Ref! No, no, no. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, my God, Modric! Coming out of nowhere, stepping up with the big defensive play. All right, blow the whistle. Ref, come on, just end this match. Just end the match. Jesus! Oh my god, what a close one. The, Halihovic was the difference. Modric and Halihovic were the difference makers. All right, boys, here we go. Coming up against a pretty sweet-looking side. He's got Aubameyang up front with Lewandowski and Royce. He's got Pogba, Vidal, Fabrice. Um, Really, really socking. Socking. Really solid-looking side. Kovacic! Fuck! The keeper didn't even save that. Come on, bros. Lay it off, and then rip. Jordi Alba! Oh! Same thing. Same exact thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? 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 Oh my god, Ter Stegen! Eight shots through a target for me, 60% possession. Again, another match where I'm dominating possession, but for one reason or the other, I can't put it away. 37% shot accuracy. Rakitic. Kobe. Let's go, son. Stay on the ball. Body faint. Hey, Riff, that's a pin! Let's go! That's what you get with good skill moves. Not that I'm a great skiller. I'm just saying, if you can pull shit off like that, you get yourself a pen. Oh, we got this. We got this. We got this! Let's go! 1-0. Hell yes. Oh, perfect pass. Perfect pass. 55 finishing, but he can put that away. He doesn't need freaking more than 55 finishing. And by the way, I think he gets an upgrade. Because he's going to Real Madrid, I think he goes up to maybe 79. It's 2-0, bro. All right, boys, match number three. And holy fuck, words, he's got Aguero Costa. Uh, two Atletico Madrid legends. And, uh... Yaya Torre at camp. That's freaking scary. Koscielny, Coutinho, and company. Walker and informed cliche. Holy shit. Those kits are actually ridiculous. Those are ridiculous kits. They look like something you go to sleep in. Shit, they're staggered, man. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, fuck! Kovacic, please, please pen! That's a pen! That's another freaking pen! Let's go, son! Oh my god, please, please don't miss this. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we're coming back. Modric, let's go! We're coming back! 3-1! Let's freaking go, boys! Creation hookup of dreams! Freaking Mandzukic, Modric, and freaking Kovacic! Let's go! Oh my god, oh my god, Aguero, Aguero! Fuck! Mandzukic, let's go, dude! We're breaking it back, 4-2. Yo, we're winning this match. I'm calling it right now. 59th minute, we're freaking doing it. I've never had more of a momentum shift result in nothing. I should have fucking won that match. Should have at least drawn, drawn, drawn it. I should have at least freaking drawn it. So that is the Real Kovacic episode, boys. Let me know in the comment section below if you think it was a good move for Real to acquire him for the 32 mil that he went for. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys did enjoy the episode. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys did enjoy the episode, hit that like button as well. And I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, choose later. I did. Hold on, let me check this really quick. Oh! I should carry ready, man, man. You make a FIFA
Clarence, your utility. 